cell nucleus. The nucleus holds on to the information. It's the big red in the middle. The nucleolus is the thing in the middle inside of the nucleus. It's a big blob, dark patch. Now the nucleolus, if we were to build our city, let's say the nucleus was a castle, then the nucleolus would be like the king's chamber. So the cell would be like the city, and then we have the castle, which is in the middle, that's the nucleus, and then where all the uh, permissions and uh, requirements needed, the guy who's in the main, the boss, kind of, that would be equivalent to the nucleolus. And if it was a modern-day city, then the nucleus would be like a government building, and the nucleolus is the equivalent of the main office. The nucleus holds information, we know that. What are the information inside the nucleus? It's called chromatin. And it's kind of like squiggly, spaghetti-like. It holds DNA inside of it. So those are chromatin. Inside the chromatin is DNA. So if you were to think that the nucleus is like a computer, then the chromatin are the hard drives and the DNA is equivalent to the files inside the hard drive. The nucleus is nothing more than it's just a big membrane that holds the chromatin. That's all. That's all the nucleus is nothing else. It's just a place that stores information. The word nucleus it means central part. Now next we're going to talk about ribosome. Remember ribosomes are equivalent to stores. We have a bunch of free floating and there are those that are attached. So the ribosomes are equivalent to stores that produce food and clothes and such. But in order to set up stores, you need permission. So you would need to get your permission from either the government or the king. And remember that's equivalent to our nucleolus. So in other words, the nucleolus produce ribosomes. So in order to set up a store, in order to set up stores, you need permission from the king and the government. Therefore, you need the nucleolus. So the nucleolus is responsible for creating ribosomes. And the nucleus just stores information. So if you were to do the math here, the nucleolus produce the ribosome. The kings or the government give permission in order to create the store. In order to lease the store, in order to you want to sell something, you need permission from the top guy, the government. You create your store, so that's the ribosome. And then the ribosome makes stuff like proteins. So the store sells stuff like food, clothes, whatever for the city. So the ribosome provides stuff for the city. But in order to provide stuff for the city, you need permission to provide those stuff. So in other words, the ribosome provides proteins for the cell, but in order to do that, the ribosome needs to be created and it comes from the nucleolus. The nucleus stores information and those information are called chromatin. And that's pretty much it about the nucleus for now. At least I Give me the bad news first. You have AIDS. Oh no, what could possibly be worse than that? You also have Alzheimer disease. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. That's not so bad. At least I don't have AIDS. So doctor, what's the bad news for today?